Stop wasting time. That's right, I want you to stop wasting time. I'm gonna give you five ways to make your time more productive on this episode of the Do This Sell More Show. Welcome to another edition of our show. My name is Dave Lorenzo and I'm here every day on YouTube at 5 p.m. and every day 9 a.m. on the podcast. Today, we're focused on your time and how you can stop wasting it. I'm gonna give you five ways that you can use your time more effectively in sales and you're going to implement these five ways and it's gonna save you at least 15 minutes a day. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to think about leverage. I want you to think about leverage in your approach to lead generation. Now, here on the Do This Sell More show, I have a ton of lead generation opportunities that I share with you all the time. If you go to my YouTube channel, The Dave Lorenzo Daily, just type in Dave Lorenzo in YouTube and look up lead generation, search for lead generation, you will see at least a dozen different ways and a hundred videos for lead generation that will allow you to grow your revenue in a way that employs leverage. What do I mean? Instead of going door to door, cold calling people, or banging the phones, making cold calls on the phone, I want you to speak to audiences. I want you to attract some speaking engagements and speak to audiences of 20, 30, 50, 100 people. Or I want you to write articles and get them published in a place where hundreds of people will see them. Or I want you to make videos that you can post on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, so that hundreds of people will discover you there. I want you to think of ways that you can get in front of 100 people versus ways that you can get in front of one person. The second thing I want you to do is when you're connecting with your referral sources, whether they're evangelists, people who've never worked with you who refer you, or they're with people connecting with people who are clients who can refer you over and over again, I want you to ask them for someone specific that they can refer you to. Let me explain what I mean. When you ask for a referral, you're asking somebody for someone specific. Hey Joe, I see you play golf with John Smith and he owns John Smith's pet grooming up the street. Well, it just so happens that I provide vehicles for companies that do pet grooming. I provide customized vans and trucks for pet grooming companies and I know John's company's growing. I'd like to meet him because I'd like to talk to him about how I can save him hundreds of dollars on his monthly lease costs for his vehicles. Would you introduce me to him? So you're giving something very specific when you're asking for referrals. Now, that's tip number two, how to ask for referrals in a way that makes them like potato chips. What do I mean? When you get referrals, you don't need to get just one. You can get three, four, five, or more. When you eat potato chips, you don't just eat one. You eat three, four, five, or more. Well, to get referrals like potato chips in multiples, what you need to do is you need to ask for somebody specific, give that person's position, give the industry, and then give the reason why you want to meet them. When you incorporate all those things, it opens up a file folder in the mind of the person to whom you're speaking, and then they can think of not just one person, but many people. Now, that's the second way. Referrals, think of them like potato chips, give a whole host of people who people could introduce you to. The third way is to lead with educational information. So when someone connects you with other people, I want you to subscribe them to your weekly educational email or to your video series where you educate people on what's going on in the industry or to your podcast where you interview all the movers and shakers of your industry or to your article series that you send out in the mail once a month to keep people updated on what's going on. That's super important, including educational information in your outreach enhances not only your visibility, your credibility, and your differentiation as well. So educating them with articles, with video, with all types of information that makes them smarter, positions you as an expert, it enhances your credibility, and it differentiates you from everyone else who does what you do. The fourth thing I want you to do so you stop wasting time is give people a reason why. Mr. Smith, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to call me in two weeks because in two weeks we're coming out with a new product that I think is perfect for you and here's the reason why. This product will save you time in this way. Joe, I want you to introduce me to the CEO of that pet grooming company because I know I can save him hundreds of dollars a month on his vehicle leases. 
giving people the reason why you want to do something with them or you, why you want them to do something with you is a way to save you time. Because when people understand the reason why, they understand your motivation, it's transparent, they don't have to figure it out. I wanna connect with you because I can save you hundreds of dollars on your telephone bill. I wanna connect with you because I think I can help you make more money by licensing your intellectual property. I wanna connect with you because I can save you thousands of dollars a year on your copier costs. Give them the reason why, be transparent, that will save you a ton of time. The final tip I can give you to save you time in sales is having daily habits. Do the same things at the same time every day. If you use social media for sales and you upload a video every day on LinkedIn, upload that video the same time every day, 9 a.m. every day the video goes up on LinkedIn. I am a convert of my own system. You will notice that the Do This Sell More show goes up on the Dave Lorenzo Daily, that's my YouTube channel every day at 5 p.m. The podcast is released every day at 9 a.m. You can get your podcast at 9, your video at 5 every day, 365 days a year. We never close. These are daily habits for me. Get into your daily habits and make those habits predictable, not only for yourself, but for your clients. After a meeting, I sit down, I write a handwritten note, and I send it to people. That's a habit. When I do my email follow-up, I do it at the same time every day. Why? Because habits are the key to quality follow-up. They're the key to sales success. Write down right now the five daily habits that are most productive for you when it comes to selling and write down the times you want to do those daily habits. Stick to them for 30 days. Notice the difference it makes. Habits prevent sales slumps and habits are catalysts for success. They will keep you from having peaks and valleys on your profit and loss statement and they will help you maintain your focus. So those are the five time-saving tips to keep you from wasting your most valuable resource, and that's time. My name is Dave Lorenzo, and I'm glad you spent this time with me. I hope to see you back here again tomorrow for another edition of the Do This, Sell More show.